Congenital hyperinsulinism is a rare disorder that affects about 1 in 30 to 1 in 50,000 children. It typically presents in the newborn period with severe hypoglycemia and it's really difficult to treat. It's so difficult to treat that in fact anywhere from 20 to 40 percent of the children who have it can be brain damaged. And the disease is so serious because insulin is secreted at times when the blood sugar is normal or even low, causing blood sugar levels to further go low. And low blood sugar levels mean that the brain runs out of energy. And when the brain runs out of energy, the cells can die, and hence the significant brain damage that occur with this condition. Tonight I'm representing Cook Children's Medical Center to receive the Rare Disease Report Heroes Award. And this is a very exciting thing for the hospital because they have taken this rare disease, they have realized that this is an area where there's a huge need for treatment, and not only just in Texas, but also in the southern part of the United States. And they've developed a program that's allowed me to help hundreds of children, not only from Texas, but also all around the world with this rare disease. So one of, the, one of the exciting developments in hyperinsulinism has been the knowledge that for a small proportion of the children, we can cure them with surgery. And in order to do this, we have to do very specialized imaging using 18F DOPA PET scans uh, to visualize where insulin is being secreted. And with that information, it's like giving the surgeon a GPS map to get into the pancreas, find that area, and remove it surgically and cure the patient. And so this has been a very exciting development and the hospital has really done a great job in supporting the development of the investigational new drug license that allows us to do this therapy. For patients who don't have the opportunity to be cured by surgery, they ha still have persistent hypoglycemia. And this is very difficult to treat and requires a lot of interventions such as feeding tubes and, and, con and continuous tube feeding during the day and night. And so one of the big areas of future development is new drug development. And we've been working very hard with several companies to develop new drugs and to start the initial trials to get FDA approval. We believe that in the future, this is going to revo revolutionize the treatment of patients and it's going to avoid them having to have near total pancreatectomies to cure the disease. Uh, which at the in the current time often results in diabetes. So th these are very much needed future therapies and it's exciting to see that industry is, is focusing on such a small rare disease and making great strides in developing new treatments.